While I'm out here in the Campo, I thought I would tell you a salty sea dog story from a long, long time ago. This is from 1984, uh, and it was HMS Bristol's run ashore in Guadalupe. We should have known something was up when we pulled in, because normally in the Caribbean and in the States, when a British ship comes in, there's lots of fanfare, bands are playing, uh, crowds to meet you, you know, all jolly good fun. Uh, but as we pulled into Guadalupe, there was nobody there apart from people to man the lines. Anyway, uh, at the end of the day, we donned our civvies and went out on the town, as you do. And uh, we are all out, me and my mates having a great time, drinking and, you know, having a cultural experience. And um, then we started to get rumours from shipmates that we saw along the way that uh, the physical training instructor had been shot. Now, this was a big guy. I'm not sure if he'd been a field gunner, but he was big, mostly guy. And they said he'd been shot by a barman in a bar. And uh, things just kicked off. We saw lots of our shipmates uh, go mad in the streets, all drunk. Uh, fights. Um, it, it started to become uh, very chaotic. Anyway, as we were walking along the street, a car pulled up and threw a bottle at us, and it hit uh, one of the lads. I think it was I think it was Gary. I'm not sure, but it hit him in the face and um, smashed his teeth. And as this car drove off. I picked up a, a, I don't know what I picked, I think it was a stone or a brick or something, and I threw it at the back of the car. Um, and just at that moment, a police van pulled up. The police jumped out and grabbed us rather forcefully. I think it was about three or four of us, and dragged us into the back of the, of the van and took us off to the police station. When we got there, there was a queue of the ship's company. A queue of them, there must have been about 30, 30 lads there. Please, if anybody's from HMS Bristol and was on that trip and can correct me in any of my errors or if I'm exaggerating anything, please let me know because, you know, I was a bit drunk. And <laughs> anyway, so we're standing there in this queue waiting to go in into the uh, interview room. And some of the lads, as they were coming out of the interview room, they looked a bit worse for wear, as in, I think they'd been beaten up. And um, starting to get a bit worried here. Um, but anyway, I think the, the consul or the attaché, uh, British attaché for Guadalupe, came in with, um, I, I don't know, some officers from the ship. And I think it was, um, I can't remember who it was. Anyway. We managed to um, avoid the interrogation room and we all got dragged back to the ship. Um, that night, we'd also heard that one of the lads, the locals had tried to crucify him against a wooden door or they had crucified him or something. Um, but this guy, this lad was in a bad shape. And I think he ended up getting flown home, as did the physical training instructor. Um, and later we got told that the physical training instructor had been, been shot. They said, I think it was a shotgun or something, but he'd had a, some kind of alteration uh, with somebody in a bar. And it shot him here. Luckily, because he was so muscly, um, it wasn't life-threatening, but he also got flown home. The next day, I had to go to the police station with, um, I don't know who it was, some officer, and I had to explain my actions. And um, of course, it was all self-defense, and that we'd been attacked, and, um, you know, it was madness, really. And we had to sail away from... Guadalupe earlier than planned. Normally you stay three or four days in the place, but I think we only stayed there 
two nights, something like this. Once again, please correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows the, the full story. And that was our uh, mad night in Guadalupe. And uh, I was told by the policeman that if I'd been a civilian, I would have been deported uh, for what I'd done after being in jail. Um, but I got off scot-free and no charges were brought against me on the boat either, on the ship, sorry. Uh, because I think so many people had actually got themselves into trouble. But that was one of the funniest occasions. I think it was 1984, could have been the 1983 trip. Um, but there you go. That's what happens when you go on a run ashore in Guadalupe, if you're a British ship. That's it for now.